Hello friend, this is the story of, I did. In the first place, Winnie said the kitten was to blame for breaking her mother's fruit basket. It was a handsome basket, and Mama thought more of it because Papa gave it to her on her last birthday. And she said it over so many times, that she had about succeeded in making herself believe it was true. It is a curious fact, I will admit, but we can keep saying a thing over and over, until we come to think it really is so, and there all the time we have been deceiving ourselves. Did you ever do so when you were at play? I will tell you about Winnie, and then you will understand what I mean. Mama had gone over to the orphan's home, and Winnie and the kitten were having a nice time together. The kitten liked to push the oranges and apples out of the basket on the table, and then knock them on the floor with her handy little right paw. Or, run around to the farther side playing hide and seek with Winnie. When Mama told her little girl to be careful, she has a fashion of saying, Oh, Mama! Kitty wouldn't break your birthday present any quicker than I would, not a bit. You better take care, said Molly, that morning Mama had gone away. Next thing you know, that birthday present will be lying in pieces on my kitchen floor. You're not allowed out here with your kitten, and you know it. You're just taking advantage of your mother being away. And Molly had no more than spoken the words when the basket and fruit came rolling together onto the floor, and the kitten was scampering off, leaving Winnie alone with the mischief. Molly was not comforting when she saw what had happened, for all she said was, just what I knew would come to pass. Pick up the pieces, she commanded, I can't have them underfoot, and she made Winnie feel a great deal worse by declaring that she knew just how it would end, now that it had ended. Why didn't you send us away then, she wanted to know. To which Molly had no reply to make. But all the time Winnie was picking up the pieces, and gathering up the fruit, she kept saying, the kitten was to blame, she knew better than to poke her head over the top of the basket to see me, and then push hard against it. You know I wouldn't do it, she told Mama the minute she got back, I shall never play with the kitten anymore, never, and to think of her running off, she knew she was to blame. Winnie climbed into her mother's lap and cuddled down in her arms. She had made herself believe that the kitten was to blame. But just then, Molly came in, and after she had told how it all happened, who took advantage of being away, you or the kitten, said Mama. Winnie said, I did, of course. 